Hello YouTube. Today I will be showing you how to create a login system using PHP and MySQLi. So for doing that, first of all, you have to create a database. A database is basically a table which consists information like username and password of people using a particular website. So for creating a database, go to PHP My Admin. After going to PHP My Admin, go to Databases, Create Database, give any name out here. I have already given Amit. Give here any name and create. You will get something like this over here on the left hand, left hand side. Click on that. Now you have to create a new table. I will name the table example. And number of columns I'll be using three columns one for serial number second for username or email and third for passwords so first one will be serial number second one for email and third for passwords serial number will be integers so keep the type to integers email will be variable character passwords will be variable characters length maximum length of emails make it 50 passwords make it 25 and for the serial number uh, mark on auto increment so this will ensure that each new entry is given a new number and in the increasing order and index make serial number primary now click save this will create a new table called example now in the example we have to insert a few uh, data a few uh, names a few email email ids and a few passwords so that we have something to log in so we'll be entering two such email ids and passwords for the first one abcd at the rate gmail.com passwords one two three four for the second one efgh at the rate gmail.com password 5678 keep the serial number uh, serial number blank empty because it will be filled up automatically because we have checked the auto increment uh, checkbox click go and this will create the new table this is the table serial number one two email id passwords so now we have successfully created the database so after creating the database you will be creating a html form so to create the html form give the form tags in the form the user will be inputting the username and passwords the form tag give the attribute action equal to empty quotes method method equal to post in the form give the input field for email and passwords for the input give the input tag And then tag <coughs> give type equal to email and give it a name and give it email similarly for the password
type password name pass break now give the in submit button to give the submit button give the input tag and give type equal to submit value equal to login and name equal to login now now let's check if the form is working yes the form is working now we will write the php code in the php code first we will connect to the database so to connect to the database we will use the function mysqli connect mysqli connect and this will take four parameters first one will be the host host name my one is local host loc local host then will be the username my one is root password in my case it's nothing so empty quotes and the last one will be the database to which you want to connect in my case it's Amit now we have to check if the login button is clicked so to check it we, we will create a if statement and in the in the if statement we will use the is set function as the condition to check if the login button is clicked so an is set function will give dollar underscore caps lock post post and within square brackets will give the name of the submit button which was login and the login will go inside grave accent which is above your tab key in the keyboard so if the input button is clicked we will retrieve the email id and passwords so we will create variables for them to retrieve it we will use the function mysqli real escape string this will again contain two parameters first one will be the connection parameter the second one will be the post function and this will contain the name of the email input field which was email and the email will go inside grave actions similarly we'll retrieve the password Here we will give the name of the password input field which is pass. So after retrieving the email and password, we will search in our database if the particular combination of email and password entered by the user exists. So we will declare another variable select user. Now this will contain a MySQL query. The query is like this select all asterisk from the table example in my case it's example and this example will go inside grave actions select all from examples where email equal to dollar email and passwords equal to dollar password
now we have to run this query so for and uh, we have to run this query and store the results which we get after running this query into a variable so I'll declare another variable run user equal to mysqli query this will take two parameters first one will be the connection parameter second one will be the query itself that is select user so after we get the results of the query in run user we will check the row number of the of the result if the row number is greater than 0 the particular combination of username and password entered by the user is correct and the user should log in so to check it we will give another another variable check user my sqli num rows of run user if check user is greater than 0 we will send the user to our home page location home.php else we will echo let's see if this code works abcd gmail 1 2 3 4 yes so this code is working fine and so this was a let's check if we input the wrong email id and password what happens suppose we give blah blah and the rate in gmail dot com and password will be boo here you can see it's wrong username or password so this was a tutorial on how to create a login system using php and mysqli thank you for watching please like the video if it helped you and get subscribed. Thank you.